It is 8.14, the kids have had breakfast. They had a special breakfast today because yesterday Mackenzie made um, blueberry muffin bread from scratch. And so they had that with, and I actually made them Mexican coffee to go with it because they just go together so well. This was a really um, like true kind of muffin bread. It wasn't like super sweet or anything. So it was really good with coffee. And so they had that and um, now everyone's just doing the normal things like showers and getting dressed and that kind of stuff. I haven't showered or anything either. I'm gonna, I have some dishes there from breakfast. And um, anyways, we're just gonna do our normal stuff. Um, we don't usually start school till like, you know, nine or so or even a little later. Um, it just, we, everyone works better when we do school later. Like doing it first thing in the morning, just people aren't usually at their, their best. Um, and so it doesn't matter to us what time we do school. So anyways, we prefer to do school later. So that is what's happening as usual. But I don't usually talk to you guys until we start at school. So I thought I'd just pop in here. Um, I thought I would show you guys really quick what I've been uh, working on for Maryland. So I just have, you know, a big binder here. And um, I did zero through 20. And so what I did is I just, I put the number on one side large enough that, you know, she could trace it or, you know, she could place, you know, like little beads on it or Play-Doh on it or something. And then the word on the next page, but facing each other. And then either stickers or stamps to represent. So I'll just like skip some here. Um, so like here's number four, the word four, and there's four stickers and I laminated each sheet. And then um, I have some with stamps, so I can't do this one-handed. so hard. <laughs> so 15, 15, and then there's 15 um, buckets of apples that I stamped on the page. Basically, I just got stick, sick of stickers, and then I was like, oh, I can use my stamps, duh. Um, not perfect. I didn't aim for perfect, but I aimed to keep things in somewhat neat order so that it'd make it easy to count. And then I just... Um, like I said, I just did that to 20 and then I just have this, I just laminated a hot pink piece of paper that she chose to separate that I'm going to do the letters next. So I ended up doing these for the letters. I just couldn't find like a bubble letter that I liked. So anyways, um, I'm going to put them again facing each other with the capital A and lowercase a. Um, and some of them are in different prints so that I could get the right shape of letter. Like I didn't want the A that has the little curly top, but anyways, so again, they're big enough. She can, you know, trace them with her finger. She can lay beads on them. She can put Play-Doh on them, string on them, whatever. And I'm going to laminate them and put them in like that. Um, so she's excited about this little thing. I just thought it would be really simple to have some numbers and letters that we could reuse whenever we talk about them. And then I also want to show you something that she did the other so day. You see this picture here? She colored this picture and she hung it up on the door last night and then we said, oh, write your name on it. And so she walked up and she wrote her name. And as you can see, M, it's not perfect letters, but M-A-R-L-I-Y-N. <laughs> she messed up, so she did it again. But um, you can see that she wrote backwards, but she also um, like turned her letters backwards to how she normally does them. And so I thought, gosh, that is so weird. I've never seen that. I mean, she just walked up and just like wrote it backwards with the letters facing backwards. And I just thought that was absolutely crazy. And I looked it up and mirror writing for young children is actually pretty common. Um, and it has to do with like their spatial awareness and their understanding of left, left right. And basically they memorize um, the letters and like the shapes of them. And so if they don't have the space, they will write backwards and, you know, write mirror image. And apparently, you know, she started here and so she doesn't have a space. So she just wrote this way. So it's pretty normal. They say between like five and eight even to do that. But I've never seen a kid do that before. So <laughs> I just thought I'd share in case your child does that. Also, what happened yesterday is that Monty, we believe it was Monty, um, like Macy's cubby down low where like all her binders and stuff where he like sprayed it, basically. Yeah, disgusting, I know. Um, but anyway, so her spelling power test book, had to throw that away, it was completely soaked. So all of her tests from this year are gone. Um, both of her binders got 
pee on them, so I had to throw those out, but luckily the papers inside the binders luckily didn't get anything on them, um, so we were able to like keep th all the rest of our papers. We only had to get rid of um, the spelling power test, but there was a couple of loose papers in there of stuff she had done um, that we had to throw out, but anyways, yeah. Isn't that lovely? So I was like really upset about that last night, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I would have been more upset if it was like Mackenzie Mass and stuff because I feel like I really need to like save at least some of their work, not everything they do, but some of it, like more so than any of the other grades. I don't really think you have to save any kid's work, um, especially for the state we live in, but for the high school stuff, I definitely want to save, you know, like samples and stuff of their work, so. That would have really sucked if he would have gotten their stuff. But yeah, oh, the joys of having, um, you know, puppies. So anyways, I'm just sharing away this morning, sharing away. <laughs> so slow. I got them all in their sheets how I want them, you know, so that I can make sure the letters will be facing each other in the binder and working on laminating them. But, you know, I don't have a fast laminate or anything. It's just a cheap one. I want to say it was like less than 30 bucks on Amazon, but you know what? It does the job. Guys, I'm cold. And yes, my fans are still on, but like, you know, fans help circulate the air too. Anyways, and I am not going to turn my heat up even more. It's at 69, 69 in the house. And um, I'm cheap. And one month I was like, well, you know, what? I'm just gonna turn my heat up because this bedroom is pretty much always cold even though it has like two vents and stuff. Anyways, um, lost my train of thought. Um, but anyways, one month I, d I did, I just like, cause I'm always cold. And so, I mean, I had that heat cranked up. I still use my electric blanket and wearing sweaters and everything. And my power bill was like $500. So I'm no, not doing it, not doing it. Um, but anyways, so I'm still sitting here laminating these letters. I just got to F and I walked out there because I was warming up my coffee and Madison is studying Braille, making herself cue cards of Braille. And so I asked her, I'm like, is that a school thing? Like, and she said, no, I just really want to learn it. So does anybody have any tips? Like how you learn Braille? I haven't looked it up. I can look it up, but uh, apparently she wants to learn it. So if you have any tips on how to learn Braille, leave them down below. All right. So it is a 9:06, and Macy is going to get started on her schoolwork that she has for today. So today she has to do um, a page of English cursive. She has to practice her spelling power words, practice her multiples of four, silent read for 30 minutes, do geography, um, a read aloud time, a journal entry. Uh, spelling you see and math lesson and she said that she wanted to do her silent reading first because she got this at the library yesterday and so it's the new testament beginner's bible and last night she read half of it and this morning when i made breakfast she told me all about it um about it was a really good book i thought it was just gonna be like you know okay and like a mm -hmm. little good so you like it better than your bible uh, yeah well, we haven't read all of your Bible, so. Yeah, I read a little bit, but I don't know. There we go. I think her Bible is the Old Testament, so this is the New Testament. So anyway, she's really loving it, and she really wants to keep reading it. Um, wait, I was thought it was going to be good and everything, and then mm -hmm. when I started reading it, I'm like, I don't want to stop. So I was like, I want to know what happens next. And then, so um, anyways, <laughs> Macy's like, going to do her God, reading, and um, Madison, are you going to start school? Huh? Yeah, I remember yeah. you said. She has been writing things in Braille on her little cue cards. So um, I think I'm going to get Madison and Mackenzie to start on school here soon. I think Kenzie's might still be getting dressed. Um, but anyways, I'm going to probably pop in the shower. Marilyn actually just went into my room to watch TV. I'm going to let her do that until I am showered and dressed. And I almost finished laminating all the letters, but I stopped. I want to see if I, I can finish. Like... So Madison is going to give us a breakdown of everything that she has to get done today. Uh, yeah. For English and oceanography, I'm still going to be writing down terms and everything and reading probably in English. Uh -huh. I have to write about what I read. Mm -hmm. uh, have to do health, which is answer these. And okay, so the health program that I created. 
Yeah. Which, if you guys want to know more about the, um, it's basically like health, sex education. Mainly, I focus towards girls. So, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, I have to do cursive and algebra, which I don't know how much problems there is. It's probably like 20. Yeah, usually, usually 22 on average. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, then I have to do Spanish. Okay. But so far, I, I did cursive. So that's everything you have to and do? And I'm going to be reading some of my book, too. Yeah, I saw that you are almost done with the book you got yesterday. Yeah. So, you and Mary, see both have been on reading the whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I can't I think. So, yeah, that's all that Madison is working on today. And right now, she's working on her health. Oh. What are you doing for health today? Uh, male reproductive pathway. I have to read about it. Oh, okay. And answer four questions. Oh, okay. So, she's doing a little bit of reading and answering some questions on the male reproductive pathway today. So, they do learn about the male reproduction side of things. But, like, 90%, I mean, they learn the basics of male reproduction and stuff. And the stuff that they need to know, but obviously they're girls, so most importantly, they need to know how their body works. So, found it. Okay. yeah, all righty. Right. I'll turn your fan back on. Or... Yes, okay, it was just really loud. Thank you. Yep, Monty, look at your bedding all over the floor. All over the floor. You too, just all the time. Get him, kitty, get him, get him, kitty, there come, get him, get him, kitty, get him. Mushu, I was just watching him play. Calm down, you old Mushu. Look at him. Hole from animals. Mm -hmm. This furniture isn't even two years old yet. Ridiculous. Oh, Mushu, it's ridiculous. Huh, buddy? Yes. Confession, it's 1014. I just unloaded my dishwasher from last night and put away the clean dishes are up here and I still haven't washed these dishes from this morning. Mommy, it's my first time not riding out of the line. Okay. Look. She made it fit. She's getting better about riding smaller, huh? It's Practice. because I've been trying to squeeze everything. Okay, so she's working on um, contractions this morning. What I want to do for spelling power is I want you to read the one word at a time to me, listen. Read one word, sorry, on the top, and then you're going to tell me that word in a sentence. So you're going to use that word in a sentence, just speaking it to me, and then you can copy the word down. Okay. Said. I said to go. Good. Okay. That was like a mean book. Can I change it? That was mean. No. This is like a Fine. I said Okay, next to go. one. Next one. That's our sin. Okay, can I break Maddie's song? Mm hmm Uh huh. No, oh, doesn't show what time it is. It's like 10.40, but I'm already warming up lunch because we're just having a bunch of miscellaneous leftovers, so, and, you know, we're hungry people. <laughs> it is 11.36 and we've already eaten lunch, and Macy's looking through our Christmas binder for a coloring page that she would like to do. Marilyn has already started working on a coloring page that she found. And there's some TV watching going on also right now. So no one's working at the moment. Macy, all she has left is we're going to practice her multiplication facts of four, do her read aloud, and her math lesson. And that is all she has left to do today. But we're not going to do school right now. We're going to take some time and 
Have a long lunch break. Can I have a hat? Marilyn's practicing her letters. Very good, B. Um, you want to do your C now, or? I don't know. You'll grow into it. Good job. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna do our D. Boy, uh, D is D. You D. Which? which one's D? Well, you're that one. Yep. Be a okay. Big boy. So they know the difference between. Real good. And good job. So what do you say, Chan? Very good. Wow. Now we're E. <laughs> Whoa, you're so good. Yeah, and F. He loves it. Why do you know that? It's a twin thing. You two go and play. Good job. Wow, I'm very impressed. You did a very nice job taking your time and trying to do it nicely. Macy's almost done coloring her picture here. Santa's eyes are bloodshot oh, nice. from all the smoke. <laughs> and the girls are watching, rewatching House, or Haunting of Hill House, I think it's what it's called. I'll try it on Mrs. By the way, really, really good show. You should watch it. Oh, you're doing them again? Good job. It is 12-11. Macy's starting on her math lesson. Lesson number seven. Marilyn is now cutting out a reindeer, cutting out the pieces for reindeer. Um, she's also wearing a Christmas shirt. <laughs> There's Christmas pictures on the door now. <laughs> it's not even Thanksgiving yet. But we love Christmas, don't we? Yeah. And the Christmas decorations are our favorite part, so we are anxious to put up our Christmas decorations. <laughs> um, yes, Madame. Madison. It's not started school yet. She's still watching the show because she needs the laptop. It is 1237 and Macy is done with her math and Madison has taken the laptop, gone back to work on her stuff. Marilyn wants to do reading eggs, so I'm going to get her on reading eggs. And then Macy and I are going to do our um, read aloud time together. And again, we have been reading all sorts of different things. And um, so I don't know if we're actually going to continue, um, if we're going to read some more of the Voyage of the Dawn Treader or if we'll read some of our other stuff right now. I haven't decided yet, so. Mom, Mom can I read to you uh, my library book? It's a good book. I'll mm -hmm. read it. Please. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. But then I'm going to read to you too. It's gonna be like was going back, to, going to make things right. It's hard to read out loud. Yeah, I know. I, it's I always am reading in my head at when I, it's like time for me to read. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to interrupt it. Reading out, out loud is hard because sometimes your tongue gets tied kind of and you stumble over your words. But that's why you got to practice reading out loud. It gets better. Do you know that name? Lazarus? Lazarus. Lazarus. Yeah, Lazarus. Lives again. One day Jesus re received a message from Mary. And Martha, Jesus, ple please come quickly. La Lazarus, Lazarus, Lazarus is very sick, but Jesus st stayed where he was for two more days. So um, we decided we're going to read this. We picked this up at the library, Castle by David McCauley. Um, and I grabbed this because we are going to be getting around to castles in our history. And um, so it just has some really awesome drawings. And basically it goes through the building of a castle from like the land to the plan for the castle and tools being used and stuff and the different types of jobs. 
Um, at least that's my understanding of what um, is in this. I've never read this before. So we are going to um, read this. It's actually a pretty, pretty, pretty long book. Yeah, we'll see. While Master James supervised work on the project, Lord Kevin began collecting the money to pay for it. Some of the money would come from rent and taxes to be paid by farmers in the surrounding villages. They automatically became Lord Kevin's tenants when he was given the land on which they lived and worked. To ensure that all due amounts would be collected, Walter of Ipswich, the Lord's bailiff, was dispatched to the surrounding countryside with a contingent of soldiers to determine the population and record their holdings. So it is 122, and we read quite a bit. bit. We read 48 pages. Um, quite a bit of reading. This actually, I mean, it really is a really good book. The pictures are great. The detailed information is good, and they explain, you know, not just what the place looked like but why it was built that way and that kind of stuff um and how it was done it's really interesting i'm really enjoying it so is macy but we're going to stop here and macy is officially done with her schoolwork for today and kenzie it looks like is working on street law yeah is you still got some more to do after this yeah okay look at all that writing all that stuff for just one subject it's a lot she does a lot, actually. And of course the kitty is laying on the table. So sweet. Can I do your hair now? No? Okay. I really, 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 really want to put Christmas trees and stuff. And Christmas it? decorations! No. Because I think it's wrong. Like you don't think it's wrong at all. You could have done it. <laughs> you could have done it last month, but not. I carrying. want to really. I could like live. But it makes the house seem very homey when it's. Yeah, Christmas it just feels extra homey, and I don't know, like. In the blankets. How to explain it. Yeah. So I could like literally live in a house that was like Christmas decorations all year long. I totally could. If it was 104 degrees outside, I totally could. So, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I feel like. Are you going to do it? I feel like I can't. <laughs> no. I feel like it's not okay, and that I'm not allowed to. And I feel like most people think you shouldn't until like at least after Thanksgiving, but I usually have them up before Thanksgiving. Though, yeah. I um don't know if I've ever not had them up before Thanksgiving. But it makes it, more, it, makes it seem more homey for Thanksgiving. But. Yeah. So, but I feel like I have to at least wait till after Halloween, right? I didn't even put up Halloween decorations this year because I didn't feel like it. Halloween's in six days. I love right? Halloween just as much as any other day and holiday or whatever, but uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like putting them up, so... So Kenzie, can we put up the Christmas tree? I want to. I don't know, guys. It's like I, I feel like we should do a little cleaning, cleaning up first, and we can decorate it very nice. Cleaning up? A little bit, like like what? I don't know. Mommy, mommy, I'll do it right now. We're gonna move some of that stuff up there. Mama, what? I want to do. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I have some fall flake stuff up, mommy, just mommy, a little mommy. bit, and so um, I'd have to put that away. I'll put it up right now. But actually, I don't know. I think like my fall houses, I would leave out. They go with it. And put with yeah, the Christmas stuff. So I don't know. I probably won't. I'll probably wait till after Halloween, just because I know that you guys will see it. <laughs> if I knew that nobody was gonna see it, I'd totally do it. But that it's like yeah. Even though other people's opinions shouldn't matter. Mm. It's a tough call. Mom, you're gonna do it. I don't know. Well, it is 2.27 and Madison took a break for like the last half hour. Um, all she has left to do is her algebra, so she just got back to work on her schoolwork, getting her algebra done. And I think Kenzie must be getting close to finishing up her school day. She's done a lot of stuff today, so I'm going to check in with her in a minute. And the littles are off playing in their room. Um, they continued to craft and color and whatnot for a while, and so they, I need to call them back to clean up their mess. I'm going to show you. Yeah. They left that mess there, so I'm going to have to get them to come clean that up. Okay, it's 2.39, and Kenzie's now done with school, and actually Madison is just getting started because she has to get the plug for the computer. Anyways, so yeah, 2.39, everyone's done with school except for Madison who still has to do her algebra because she procrastinated for actually for like 40 minutes. But anyways, um, we actually had a homeschool thing today, but it was an outdoor thing and it's cold and rainy and we just didn't want to be out in the cold, rainy, like, you know, so we didn't go. So anyways, 
check back when Madison's done. It's three o'clock and Madison is still working on her math, but the rest of us yeah, look at this are <laughs> headed um, look at this to the store really quick to get stuff to make Play-Doh with. If you can hear anything that I'm saying. All right. 3.34 and we are home. Madison is done with her math. Got some tape because we need to bring new tape. Why is it so dark in here? Oh my goodness, it is like, the lighting is horrible. Okay, and we got salt for making Play-Doh, not for eating. And some cream of tartar for Play-Doh making. We got some cinnamon sticks for our cafe de leche. And I needed some more of this not good for you, delicious uh, non-dairy coffee creamer powdered stuff. And some fresh green beans for dinner tonight. Now, everyone is officially done with school for the day. Bye.